Well, hey there. Thirsty Thursday long review. It's been a long day. I am at an undisclosed location in Texas. Just kidding. I'm at the Found store. Um, found Leather Goods. Uh, FoundLeatherGoods.com? FoundLeather.com. Um, I've helped them. I've helped them. I have been their carpenter on their uh, Pinecrest, Crocker Park, Columbus, Lexington. All right, so Texas, we're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, they're opening another store there. So, uh, so this is the fifth store that I've helped them open. It's the sixth store that I've worked with them on. Um, and I've gotten addicted to their, or no, my, my wife has gotten addicted to their their purses and they've gotten addicted to my carpentry. So it's a good fit. Um, not really doing any time lapses for this one. I do have to finally edit together the Columbus store. That's completely time lapsed. I finally have to sit down and edit that together. Um, and I can show you build, build, doing the build out on that. Uh, but I will definitely take some videos as the construction goes on. Uh, the last few days has been mostly organizing and and um, putting cabinets together. And then uh, tomorrow's more cabinetry going together. I'm kind of holding back a little bit until the tile guys lay the floor. And then um, by Monday, I'll be just rip roaring on cabinets. So that'll be nice. But anyway, if you're here because of Thirsty Thursday, you want to know about any of that nonsense. You want to know how the Blue Run, the Blue Note juke joint is. Um, so as I said in the short, this is the third one that I've bought. The first two were picks by SLB Drinks. And, but I wasn't doing neck pour videos when I got those. So doing a neck pour video of this, I found it to be a very good whiskey. <clears throat> but um, enough time has gone by since I recorded that video. And I wasn't feeling good at the time, uh, but that video is quite old. So I'm feeling just fine today, just a little tired from the work course <laughs> even though I drove from Florida to Texas I brought a Glen Karen with me so we could do this all right so colors nice average color not unusually dark just a nice nice whiskey bourbon color so let's see what they let's see what they say on the bottle about this before we get into it Luno Duke joint whiskey straight bourbon whiskey it's unfiltered it's crafted in memphis i don't think it was distilled there but we're gonna we're gonna look into that uh it's uncut so after it was aged in the barrel they pulled it they pulled it right out of the barrel excuse me a moment there we go so after it was aged in the barrel they didn't proof down but they didn't add any water to bring the proof down so out of the barrel, it came out at 118.6 proof. That is, if you're a ABV kind of person instead, that's 59.3% alcohol. This is from barrel 17689. 17,000 barrels, that's pretty cool. Sometimes it blows my mind thinking about the amount of barrels and the amount of whiskey that's out there. So I am slightly irritated like they put uncut over their notes. It's like they paid someone to write this paragraph and then and they blotted out all of it. Weird. Anyway. Blue Note, Ju uh, Blue Note Juke Joint Whiskey. Blue Notes were born in the 1920s. Oh, that's why, because it's a music lesson. Oh, uh, well. All right, you, you really can't read enough of this. Something about Memphis, Tennessee, but it's talking about the blues, not about the whiskey. It's the BR Distilling Company. Don't know what BR stands for. Stand for. Distilled in Kentucky, bottled by BR Distilling Company, Memphis, Tennessee. Asian American white oak barrels, a minimum of three years. So we're at least three years old in this. Could be older. Who knows? I don't remember what notes I got. I'm gonna review the video real quick. If you haven't seen the short, feel free to see the short. It's, uh, like I said, I didn't feel good, so it's a quiet short. I haven't checked on his views anyway. 
54 views, 3 likes. No comments. Where you at, Chief Leaf? But let's look in YouTube Studio, because sometimes that gives you a better clue. No, that's accurate. 54 views, 3 likes. All my percentages are down. Oh, bummer. I got another subscriber, though. That's fun. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh, let's look at this. No voiceover. <coughs> Sorry, that hit me strong. So I get, um, I get vanilla on it. Let's see what I got. I don't remember if I put my notes in this or if I just bit blabbered about about how I felt and what what I was uh, and where I got it from. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the notes, Izzo. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about how much I would pay. So this bottle I paid like forty bucks for. I don't remember, and I got this online. So then I had tax and shipping also. So I don't remember what I paid for the Blue Note juke joints that I got from the SLB drinks. It might have been a little bit more. Um, but those are private picks. Sometimes private picks are more. What are you going to do? Okay, so I didn't give any detailed notes in this. So there you go. I don't know if you can hear that music. It's playing over my earbud, which is sitting right next to the iPad. So I get some lighter fruit notes in this in addition to the vanilla. And it's it's kind of lends toward an apple. And I have heard, I have heard other people describe getting a green apple scent in this. I don't disagree with that. Uh, I disagree slightly. It's not like a Granny Smith apple. It's more like a, like a Fuji or a Gala or a Macintosh. Like one of those kind of, you know, partially red, partially green looking apples. But it's very good. But then with the vanilla sweetness, it reminds me of a caramel apple, but I'm not getting any caramel notes. So it's like if you somehow translated a caramel apple into a vanilla apple somehow. So let's forget the let's forget the apple on the stick. Let's uh let's call it like an apple. Ah, oh, see, it's not an apple tart. Well, I don't, I'm I'll be honest. I don't know if I've ever eaten an apple tart. I know I've had apple pie. Um, I've had apple sauce. I don't know if I've had an apple tart. But with the word tart in it, it seems like it would be tart. I guess that's not wrong. So so maybe like a maybe like an apple pie. With just, but there's like some citrus in there too. Just a hint of citrus. So maybe like an and maybe that's what an apple tart is. I don't know. Please let me know in the comments what an apple tart is. In the comments, let me know if you like the beard. I know Lynette does. Thanks, Lynette. Um, let me know if you like the beard. This is Izzo's not a super. I might be able to keep this until March 13th, which is shaving day traditionally, but um, for the mustache. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I like it. Honestly, I don't know if I like it. But I don't dislike it. But I don't know if I like it. But I'm just saying. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I had a huge dinner. I shouldn't have done that. I'm so stuffed right now. It's almost uncomfortable to, to nose and sift it. I'm gonna stick with the apple tart or the apple pie with just a hint of lemon in it, a little citrus. It's a good pour. Ooh, it's got quite a hug today. <clears throat> and it's not my first pour, but that's got quite a hug. That was fascinating. Probably because I ate too much. Ate a little, ate, ate a big dinner. Probably got some GERD going on. And that's never fun. 
So maybe I should have done this earlier in the day. Or maybe I shouldn't have eaten as much dinner. What are you going to do? Hopefully this uh, dinner gird discussion isn't too honest for you. I don't want to gross anyone out. Let's try this again. Because the other thing is, <clears throat> maybe I can, maybe if I, as I do a sip or two, get acclimated to it. I'll tell you what. I'm not drinking all that. We're going to do enough sips to get the review. And then I'll pour it back in the bottle. Drink responsibly, friends. And it is a good, it has a good note. All right, yeah, let, let me think about this second nose and, you know, come back in. Yeah, it hasn't really changed. So we're still doing like an apple tart, apple or an apple pie. I'm a little bit hint, hint of citrus on it. That is amazing. Long finish. Hug was not as intense. Yeah, someone got apple in my head. <clears throat> and I got apple. But it but it's um on the palate, there's no more apple pie. On the palate for me, it's... That has been doing that since I got here on Monday. Yeah, I don't know what it's trying to tell me. But nothing's blown up yet, so I'm going to continue to ignore it. Um, anyway, something to do with the electrical panel, I think. I'm not an electrician. That's not my business. Anyway, on the palate... On the palate I got... Now I got Granny Smith on the palate. So it's like slices of Granny Smith that I sprinkled lemon over. So I got the same citrus, I got the same apple. Someone poisoned my head on this and I always think apple on a blue note. And I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. It's wonderful, it's a wonderful pour. So I'm not equipped to do it, but, um, cause I'm on the road. But at times when I'm not on the road, I'm going to try to add a cocktail in to this kind of thing. Um, so with, with the notes of apple in this, um, I could see making like a hot toddy, some, some tea and some cinnamon. I don't know how you make a real hot toddy. I would just boil some, boil some water, make some tea, throw some, some of this, a little bit of honey, a little bit of citrus in it. That's that to me, that's a hot toddy. I don't know if that's a traditional hot toddy, but that's what it is to me. Uh, so I could see this easily in a hot toddy, get some like, um, and I think for this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do like a dark tea. I'm, I'm more a fan of dark teas when I'm just drinking hot tea, Earl Grey, English breakfast. Um, but for this, I would do a lighter tea, a green tea, uh, even a ginger tea would be good. Um, and then yeah, this, some honey, some lemon, boom. That'll, that'll cure your so sore throat right away, won't it? Or at least help you sleep a little at night. Uh, but yeah, is um, whenever I get to do one of these and I'm not out on the road, uh, we'll start making cocktails out of these. Uh, like I did last week with the, with the uh, Indago, Indago Gin from Snoop Dogg. We made cocktails. Uh, so we'll do that in the future. Let's go in for a third sniff. <clears throat> it's so weird how it'll sometimes change on you. The normal, like, vanilla sweetness has turned to, like, a caramel. Uh, also, in the comments, let me know. Are you a caramel? Are you a caramel? What are you? Caramello? Caramello? It's totally a caramel apple now. No nuts, though. And I, I think I've seen them before. You know, sometimes you get them, the apple with, on the stick, dipped in the caramel. Sometimes you see it covered in nuts. There's no nutty profile on this. So it's not a caramel apple with nuts on it. It's just caramel apple, just caramel and apple. Huh. That's so weird. That's so weird how it'll change. I like it even better as a caramel apple. That's wild. And um, and as far as the apple goes, it's still like the like a Macintosh, like a gala, like a what else do I get? Golden crisp. Is that what it's called? Golden crisp? 
I think Golden Crisp is another one. It's in that, that kind of family. Like just a tiny bit tart, but a lot of sweetness going on. Man, that's awesome. All right, let's see if the palette's changed at all. Still have the Granny Smith, still barely a little hint of the citrus, but as I've acclimated to this whiskey, the caramel that showed up on the nose has showed up slightly in the background of the palate. And uh, on this third sip, the hug has disappeared, so I've acclimated to the whiskey. Interesting. So don't forget, if, you're, if you go out and you find any of these things that I review, like this one's a little bit high on the alcohol, 118 proof, uh, almost 119 proof. Uh, so that's getting up there in the alcohol. There is, there's no shame. However you need to enjoy the whiskey is fine. There's no shame putting in, putting it uh, in a glass with a, with an ice cube, putting a few drops of water in it to cut down the proof. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, sometimes adding water can bring out other notes. So. Uh, eventually down the road, I'm a little bit busy right now, but eventually down the road, uh, I do want to add some comparisons, drop a little bit of water into something, see how it tastes side by side with a neat pour. Um, so we'll do some of those things, but yeah, feel free, feel free to experiment. Uh, you don't have to drink it neat just because Izzo's reviewing it neat. Put it in an ice cube, put some water, put it in a cocktail. Um, I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of ginger beer, um, like turning the bourbon into a mule. Like if I don't feel like drinking and eat, a mule is a good way to go. Of course, uh, Jack and Coke is a traditional thing, so you could always do like a bourbon and Coke. Ooh, someone reminded me of a really nice cocktail to do with bourbon, and I don't know, I don't know if I would do that with a juke joint, uh, but if you take Buffalo Trace, like a shot of Buffalo Trace bourbon cream, shot of Buffalo Trace bourbon cream, um, maybe a shot or even half a shot of whiskey, if you want to use Buffalo Trace just to keep the theme, that's fine. And then you put that in a root beer, that, that's awesome. It's like you're drinking a, an adult root beer float. That's a beautiful one. I don't know if I would do that with this. Because like Buffalo Trace is a little sweeter. The citrus notes on this, I don't know if I would do that. I don't know if I'd put bourbon cream and this into root beer. I'd be weird. I'd be good. Who knows? If you do anything like that, let me know in the comments. All right, let's give them one final sip and one one final nose and sip. And then I'm pouring the rest back because I'm not drinking all this. On the fourth nosing, it stayed a caramel apple. Didn't change. Um, so Granny Smith, a little hint of caramel. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty hot. I, I want to say spicy, but spicy is not the right word. It's pretty hot going down. Um, so on this last one, on the third one, the hug disappeared. On this last one, I kind of felt, I felt it try to be a hug, and I felt it like go all the way down. It was. Um, and I like a good Kentucky hug. You know, sometimes if, if the, you know, the gird's acting up. Uh, it's not it's not the thing you want to feel but um, I do appreciate a good Kentucky hug and that that last one with that slow soft Kentucky hug that was good stuff all right if you have any questions put them in the comments you can email me at heyizzo at yahoo.com if you have any bourbons or whiskeys you would like me to try um, if there's something that I can that I can get that I don't have to pay like <laughs> thousands of dollars for I would gladly get it and review it uh, I don't care how cheap I don't care well and I care about expensive. I don't know if, if I can afford it. I'll I'll buy it and review it for you. But if you have anything you want to want to tr want me to try that you haven't seen in Thirsty Thursday so far, let me know. Put it in the comments or email me. Hey Izzo at yahoo.com. That's all I got for you. So um, it's 11:23 as I record this in Texas. Um, in my normal time zone, it is Friday, so it is not Thirsty Thursday anymore. But it's you know it's like. 
Oh, it's like that guy said, it's Thirsty Thursday somewhere. So whatever you're doing, if you're working, work safely. Don't work too hard or too late. I didn't get started till, I, I started late, so I don't mind working late when I start late. But um, if you're working, work safe, work and work smart. If you're drinking, drink responsibly. Uh, but do everything with a little bit of whimsy, and you're going to have a good time. Thanks. I'll see you next time you're hanging out at Izzo's place. Bye. Thank you.